Hey guys, it's Isla here. Um, just want to do a quick tournament vlog on my most recent event. This is going back a couple weeks now. Um, just really haven't had the time to edit the video, so happy to do so now. Um, this is our 111st tournament vlog, so uh, unfortunately no Justin on this one, but uh, Mr. Bonnard came with us and we had a good day and he took his trog door and I took my Loch Lauren and it was a fucking ball of time. So here's a photo of the Mansfield Tavern here in Queensland near Mount Gravatt and this is all of the tables set up and everyone there in their costumes. Here is Mr. Reese, aka Bilbo himself. Uh, so this tournament is 111st and it's meant to be based on Bilbo's birthday party and it's just meant to be a super fun non-competitive event. Here's myself. I got done up as a Dark Maya pre-transition into a fiery evil Balrog. And it became common lore later that it was going to be a Balrog with huge flaming knockers. So, yeah, there we are. There's me and Reese hanging out and uh, me having a game with Nathan. And, yeah, we'll get into it. One more thing before I get into the videos. Uh, the third game I didn't get a lot of videos on because that was the Mumak Hunt and Nathan and I haven't really had a game before. Everyone else I've played. And we just got really right into playing. I did get a good video at the beginning, but I will fill you in later. And then also just sort of going over the, the conditions of the tournament. It's meant to be fun and friendly. So we ended up with uh, best general, best sport, best costume. Uh, well, best dressed. Um, wasn't didn't have to be a costume and didn't have to be related to MESBG or Lord of the Rings. And we also had the most important scoring, which is first, second, and third of the best games. So everyone got to rank their games one through to four because there were four games. And uh, wh whoever had the most points, who played the friendliest games with the friendliest army, uh, got that. A uh, few of us went for best general, uh, Sean and myself in particular, and we came in hot and there was a decider whether it would be best differential or best overall and if it was best overall Sean would have had it and best differential I would have got it so uh stick around to the end to find out who actually got the best general um out of Sean and I we did have a good close running uh little friendly competition which was great and uh we'll see if we can steal the uh last alliance of noobs and men best general okie dokie uh so first tournament game against my friend Mr. Jacob um, so against his AOL which is all wolves and wild chiefs and all the good stuff with the wizards and uh, Lothlorien with the magic resist that's my army and Sonari's loot goblins so we can catch goblins um, they're worth objective points it's basically like domination they're worth the same points and everything but then um, on top of it all we've got um, the option to kill the goblin you do lose the point but then you could gain a pretty funky piece of war gear I'll, I'll post uh image after this of what the war gear is that we can obtain from the goblins uh from our pack packs so yeah it's gonna be a very quick game all right so i've moved up picked up one yep. two goblins and i'm bailing for that one and i think jacob's charged another one to try and kill him so yeah i love it how we're just out here kidnapping goblins and stuff like that <laughs> Fantastic. If we're not doing that, well, are we really doing it right? That's it. Uh, cool. So Jacob's killed his goblins. He got a flute, a banner, and he got the other one, the, the shield with the barge. So, yeah. So he's got some interesting stuff. I'm keeping mine alive because I want victory points. Um, yeah, so I moved back with half here and I've stayed still there. So I want one good round of shooting before we go in, get some of these numbers down. He's got 30, I've got 26. So, uh, yeah, we'll see how we all go. Right. It's all happening. Got a rage beast off. I've uh, killed seven wargs to one elf, so we're going all right. On the defense there and on the offense here. So defense on one side, offense on this side. Um, and Jacob's won our heroic off and he won priority. So now I just have to uh, take it. To do it how he wants to uh, dish out the damage. So yeah, ugh. Okay, so um, ended up getting uh, a 6 0 win against uh, Jacob. I did lose Halvern in the last round. He did his strength 4 and killed the. I uh, did a win on the bat, swung him down to 1. And uh, the Enraged Beast killed the spider that he was in combat with. Killed a bunch more. I was 3 off breaking him, so yeah, I ended up getting the 6 0 because I had the two loot goblins. So that was a uh, good round 1. Had a fantastic game. And yeah, 
I'm looking forward to the next one. Round two, we're up against Mr. Dean and his really cool uh, Rohan Trojan Horse uh, Army of the South Army. So Sullivan is Baden. Um, I've knocked off some horses and stuff. Forgot to make a video, but um, yeah, done that. Um, compelled. Uh, into the building there, bonked him. Uh, special scenario, we are playing Fog of War and Tom Bombadil is on either side with only seven more to assist. Um, and we can charge our Toms in together and they will merge and they will fuck off to the ether. Um, anyway, so, yep, done a wound to his war leader as well and he's fated it, so spent fate there as well before last turn. Uh, put two wounds on the Mumak and he's also gonna trample in the next movement phase, so looking pretty healthy there. And, uh, yeah. That's it, something good's happening over there, and we'll come back. So I've knocked off his uh, Serpent Riders, and I've done two wounds to Solid, and he's got no fate left, but Tom Bombadil's there backing him up. He did fail to renew him last turn, so maybe he can do it again. And uh, yeah, marching up over there, doing stuff. And shot at the War Leader, got his last point of fate off. Um, Tom Bombadil's still there annoying him, so... Uh, and I did run him into the building again because of the stampede and he's taken another wound so he's down four wounds and yeah doing doing gamey things with elves. Elves being elves. It sort of sucks. Okay so moving around doing stuff here. Dean won priority. He went up over there. Um, Gladriel chasing away a Mumaki Tom Bombadil. <laughs> Get out of here. Um, and yeah so she tried to compel and failed. I did lose Haldir in the fight because uh, Sullivan struck. Um, also, it's your priority, so do you want to move your Saladin as well? Um, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, that's how the game goes. Okay, final round. Uh, last round, I charged a Mumak with this boy, and then he, uh, he won the fight, didn't do any wounds. Um, rolled a uh, full high on the Mumak, and then six high with him. This time, he failed his courage, so his buddy went in. Uh, I've still got four shots to get the war leader, try and knock him off, get the leader kill. And then we've just done a conga line of in the ways because he's been sniping, trying to snipe Rumil with all his archers. So yeah, we'll just put all the in the ways there and then there too. And uh, I wonder which uh, terrain this I have. Gladriel's over there. She's done her job. She uh, She's definitely fucked around all game, but uh, definitely pissed them all my <laughs> So much so we decided to run away. <laughs> and she's like, get back here. It's been a meme. It's been great. Um, all right. Okay, so here's how it went down. I um, ended up... Sorry, uh, getting my terrain. I was keeping Rumil alive. Rumil was his target, so, and, and also Saladin was my target. So it ended up being, I got the nine to his three. So ended up in, uh, sorry, nine to nil. So nine nil. Uh, so that's two victories. I got a six nil and a nine nil. Okay, next game we're playing the hunt. Uh, it's Maelstrom, so come on around here. Uh, playing against Wood Elf Captain List, which is quite cool with the uh, Gildor and the Hobbits. So. Awesome, and we've got to hunt down this Mumak and try and get the extra points for that. And then after that, um, it's basically just heroes and all that. So, cool. Okay, now this is the game against Nathan. I told you, you didn't get a lot of video again. You saw the setup. Um, it was Maelstrom. It was basically run to the middle with a big giant Mumak that could run around and kill everything. Um, and yeah, basically, he was playing an all Captain Wood Elf army with a Sentinel, and it was a really cool list. Uh, and also Gildor running around as well. Um, and yeah, this was the one where I actually, um, conceded a couple points for, uh, losing my general, which wasn't too bad because it wasn't one where you get a lot, um, but I did, ended up, I didn't get Gladriel out quite quick enough, and he did get Gladriel. Uh, the objective was to kill the Mumak, and then it, you got points for killing the Mumak, so you got three points for killing the Mumak, and you also got three points for going and capturing it and staying on it at the end of the game. Um, I did have the numbers advantage, even though he did ha have, uh, ten captains and Gildor. And the Sentinel. Uh, but yeah, no, it was a great game against Nathan. Um, sorry I didn't get more video, just we're really, I was actually really into it because um, we were doing, it was quite quick pace because he only had so few models, so he was starting around using his Elven Cloaks to do the best of the advantage. And um, yeah, so, and he was a great sport. He was uh, shooting at the Mumak even though he didn't have a lot of uh, shots. And I think it was like a Defense 7 baby Mumak to kill um, with, I think it was six wounds or something seven wounds or something so yeah we, we ended up plugging away at it and he did a few wounds early on and came down to the time when and I was also shooting at it and I came down to the time where it was down to two wounds left and I still had Haldir left and I shot twice and I hit with both times and then I rolled to wound and I rolled a six which would get the wound strength 3d7 and a five with I uh, know a three with Haldir and I'm like Howdy's still on full might, man. I'm just like, I pumped all of Howdy's might 
to get that um to get that Mormack kill and get those three points. So and it was totally worth it at the end of the game and uh yeah, ended up ended up with ended up with a solid win. Uh ten two. Uh thanks Nathan. Sorry we didn't get more video. Um he's a fan of the channel, so if you're watching this I invite you to message me or whatever and if you wanna jump in on the channel um or come to a game stay or whatever, just let me know and we'll uh drop you in and you're more than welcome and we'll uh I don't know, do a battle report or have a hangout or whatever. You, we're all we're very cruisy. Okay, yeah. I'm yeah. playing Mr. Sean again, and we're playing uh, Retrieval. Uh, and I'm against his hobbits. He's got 20 hobbit models. Gandalf on the car. Ooh, 17. 16 hobbits, Gandalf, and three dogs. Three dogs. There we go. Beautiful. <laughs> and yeah, the I've just cast my blinding light, and uh, Sean's also channeled. So let's go, blinding light. And it goes. To five. Five. Ew. It goes up. Awesome. Alright, um, so Sean has his Bilbo sneaking around and his dogs to try and claim an objective. I'm trying to hold on to it. Just got Farmer Magna over here in a combat. And, Just got uh, whacked over there. That's it. We've been doing a shoot off, taking all the Sam's fate off and a wound. But um, I lost an archer and I've lost my my uh, shooting advantage even though we've both got blind light. So I'm going to, um, I think it's time to press, press a pedal to the metal should, and get this game them. going. Uh, and I'm running over to the objective over there. So how dare she be trying to win? That's it. Okay, <laughs> well, uh, so a couple of turns, turns have gone past, Sean's one priority, um, lost a few models, won some, lost some, took a win on Haldir, didn't pass the fate, so he's on one win left, um, and I called a move over here this turn to get this guy from over there, through that little doorway there, over here with the ring, Rumil's pulled them all over, and yeah. Dogs failed. Dogs failed, counts. killed them. Bilbo's done with it. Bilbo's failed three ring things and he's all the way back there now. He's, he's going home. He's going home he's and uh, hobbits are broken so there's going to be some courage tests galore and... Doesn't happen yeah. often. No, that's it. So we'll continue on. Okay, so just torboed Sean, um, ended up getting the objective off the board and ran off and uh, Sean's conceded because um, he's one off breaking and yeah, so that's the end. Hopefully I knock Sean off the podium because we're pretty close so we'll be uh, running for best general so hopefully I can do that, but it was a definitely a good fun game, and uh, L's doing L's, and I've won every game this tournament, so I'm very proud of myself for that. That's awesome. Last but not least, let's talk about results. Um, I don't have any photos for these, I'm not keen on putting like people's faces up unless I have permission, so uh, let's just go through it. Um, we'll go through, I think, I believe the most important ones would be the, the first, second, third of the friendliest games, uh, so we'll get the friendly... Uh, sport sportsman like people out of the way um our inflated egos uh throughout the rest of the league are pretty high so um i believe elias won best overall um and then dean and sable i think uh were second and third respectively i can't remember there isn't any posting um i haven't been bothered to ask uh if you want I'll ask Freeze and I'll put it down below and we'll get them. I'll, I'll get it in the, I'll get it in there somewhere. But, um, I just really do what I care about, um, on this channel and that's all that matters for me. And then we had, um, well, came down to the best general. Let's just go over that. Uh, best general was me. I got it over Sean. So it came down to best differential, um, so I ended up getting, uh, for my matches, I got a 6-0, a 9-0, and a 10-2, and a 12-0. Um, and I think Sean just ended up getting a lot of 12s for his games, um, but also he conceded quite a few points during his games as well. Uh, so yeah, just came down to how it got scored, best overall over best differential. And yeah, um, so yeah, so thanks Sean for the contest, and uh, go check out Matt and Goat, and also... What's the other one? Last Alliance with Liam as well. Um, and yeah, we had a great day and we had lots of laughs and I just love hanging out with my friends and I'm glad Sean's back from Melbourne. So I'm going to go and uh, pester him and molest him for more games and content when I can. Okay, so uh, here's the army that won the event, uh, the display board and obviously the models there. Um, I'm not going to go into the list right now. I'm going to do a separate video on the list and my theory behind it. But um, that's the 650 Lothlorien list. Uh, here's the trophy for Master of Battle. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, very nicely made. And also the dice tray as the prize that I picked up. Absolutely love the dice tray. Beautiful and good reminder of the event. And this was made by Alex Scanlon. I think you'll remember him from 
the Dragon Game and Ankh versus Angmar in the last uh, tournament vlog from uh, the Battle of Bywater, uh, Liam's tournament earlier in the year, and that we had a great time and we just had lots of laughs. And he's a really cool dude, and yeah, thanks for the support in the community and building this little prize up. Actually, absolutely love it. So, yeah, very nice to roll in. So. If you survived till this long in the video, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you can. Check out the Gap Games affiliate link if you've got some cash you want to burn through. And yeah, thanks again for all my opponents. Um, played three of my friends and a new opponent uh, during this tournament, so I was pretty fucking stoked with it. Um, so that was that was fun. I got to play Jacob, who I play regularly. Dean, same thing. Uh, new player, Nathan, great guy, and also Sean Kirkby, who's just absolute ball to play with. He loves playing with these hobbits and uh, just really cool goofball lists. So, yeah, just great day, great fun, and thanks to everyone for being great sports. And to everyone else who just made it a fantastic day, especially Reese who ran the tournament. Um, and then it was just great to see all you guys again. Absolutely love it, and I cannot wait until the GT.